Fireland. Woo! Damn straight. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalist 3 Divine Win with your host Shenra. Currently playing as Ireland. Ireland. We uh, left off in the year 1612 at war with a lot of the Muslim nations. The Ottomans were over here kicking Castile's ass. And Persia, well, we're at war with them, but I don't know. We have the option of taking over Makassar, so we may do that, but it's four infamy or three infamy or something, so I don't know. Maybe not be interested in it. We'll see. Let's go ahead and jump in game. And yeah, I know the effects were really loud in the last video, but I've turned them down quite a bit, so it should be much better. Yeah, it sounds fine now, at least in the headset. <laughs> I hope it sounds okay in the recording. Alright, so what were we up to? Let me speed up to full speed. Let's see, that's just colonies. I don't have anything else on there right now. So I think we are pretty much at peace, except for Persia. Yeah, we gave Papal State access. Oh, we got peace with Persia. And Burgundy accepted our alliance. Cool. And we have a self-sustaining colony. Oh, we don't have a magistrate, but we do have a missionary, so let's use his ass. There we go. So we're almost done uh, converting the people of Mexico. There's only these four states left. And then we'll have to do these, which are uh, shamanist, and these, which were uh, other forms of Christianity. And these down here, which were animist. So we'll, we'll work on them slowly. And then all these. But at least they're green, right? Green means we have uh, a very high chance of success. So that's good. I love I love all these new buttons in the uh, 5.1 update. They're very nice. And they've gotten better as the, the beta versions have come along. Uh-oh. Upri uprising here. Eh, they're dead. What's this? We're losing money? Uh-oh. Let me fix that. Is that going to work? No. Uh, let me fix it a little more. Is that going to work? Yeah, that'll work. And we have a colonist. So you know what? I'll wait until December before I spend more money, because <laughs> we're a little broke right now. Provens and government tech. Uh, don't want the inflation, so let's go slowly. What's our inflation at? 12.4. Yeah, we don't need any more inflation. Oh, we killed some people apparently. Okay. And core province in Pamlico. Cool. North Carolina area. Oh, cool. So that's now a full territory. Let's see if we have any money left in December. We probably don't. Oh, our admiral died. Oh, well. He was good for us. All right, we're full of diplomats again. What was that? Switzerland started the Swiss subjugation of Milan. Huh. Good for you, Switzerland. Let's just make sure everyone's happy with us. Hausa, uh, I mean, uh, it's not Hausa. Hansa, our new allies. They're pretty cool. Burgundy, our newest allies at 200, 200. Everyone seems to like us, so that's good. I should improve our relations with some states, though. But there's no one I really want to. Oh my gosh, Russia, Russia formed. I did not notice that. Smolensk. Smolensk has formed Russia. Look at that. I did not think they had the right states to do it. But, uh... Yeah, I know you need Smolensk. It's either... You, need, you either need Smolensk or... Kiev, I think. And Smolensk is much easier to get, so... Hey, 
I guess they did it. Did they move their capital to... No, they didn't move their capital yet. They'll eventually move their capital. Oh, they don't have... <laughs> you can form Russia without St. Petersburg? Wow. I was unaware. Anyway, that's a, a neat uh, change to the map. I could get good relations with them. Who are they allied with? Riga and Kiva. Who is this guy allied? Ireland, uh, and Bohemia's Ire Ireland, Poland, Alan Comavaria, McMurgan, Twer. Hmm. And I'll leave them alone. I might want to ally with them later on, because they, they look pretty cool. Oh, we'll deal with that later. Alright, what's this? Yep, 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 yep. Switzerland. Uh-huh. Oh, Austria is now at war with Switzerland. Oh, man, you guys are boned. Austria, Papal State, Genoa, Toulouse, Milan, Savoy, Sicily, and Tuscany. Yeah, Switzerland, you're boned. Oh, even more people. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Not good. All right, we're almost to December. More cores. We discovered more of Africa and more cores. Cool. And we finally have a spy again. Is Uruguay low enough population that we might succeed this time? They are. Well, I think we should send a spy over there because we failed four times in a row at 60% chance. So let's try again. It's very cheap. Oh my god, it worked. But it didn't kill them. Look at that. It only killed like five. It only killed like 50 dudes. Oh, it was enough. Oh, good, 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 good. All right. So I'm gonna send a colonist right away. Screw all the money that it takes. I want that land. Now we're gonna go broke again. In December. That's fine. Hey, that worked out pretty well. I'm surprised that after two years of waiting for another spy, that we actually were able to to get it. They never got above 100 population. That worked out very well for us. Hey, Leprechaun went core. How's our uh, centers of trade doing anyway? This one's at 459. This one's at 1263. 1479. And 740. Wow, this one's almost ready to split. We just built that one. This one's at 864, so we could split the one in New Dublin. Well, I definitely want to split that one. I'm just not sure if that should be the first move. I think my goal should be to split uh, these two. And I should try to do it so that we can get two new centers of trade rather than just one. If you do it right, you can kind of trick the game. Like, if I put the national focus here and more on because in 10 years we can move it then if you do it quickly enough you may be able to put a center of trade here and also a center of trade here because they both touch your national focus and they're in different centers of trade and both the different centers of trade have over 800 value so if you do it quickly enough then it might work I will have to try that I've done it before. In my last campaign, I did it like three or four times successfully, but sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes the new center of trade uh, grows too quickly. Like the, the game recognizes the new center of trade too quickly, and then it covers the land where you want to build the next center of trade, and it doesn't work because it doesn't have the value. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's fix the income. There we go. And next month, we'll be able to build some forts in the uh, places that need level 1 forts. Uh, yeah, give me the money, actually. I'm so poor. Self-sustaining colony, very cool. Native Rising in Algonquin, don't care. Longzong, don't care. Yeah. Alright, so we have self staying colony right here. Let's build the fort. We're making 330 a year. Where else can we build level 1 forts? Right there. Three more. 
Good, because we had three more magistrates. All right, we're good. So every place has a level one fort that needs it, and we have a spare colonist. So we could go here or here, or we could continue up the California coast. Oh, seven base tax. Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> I can't pass up seven base tax, you know? And Europe still hasn't gotten down here to this seven base tax place. I'm going to let them get it, though. They can have it. I am very happy with these new lands that we have. <laughs> Brittany declared war on Arakan for whatever reason. Let's see, revolt risk 9, revolt risk 13. Ah, see, this one doesn't trade through our center of trade. That's kind of annoying. Because our center of trade is very poor down here. 224. Well, it's not that bad. But it does have some stagnation. So, very soon, I want to go to war again to take uh, Blambangnagan and perhaps we'll take most of Sumatra, because some of these are very profitable. And I also want to take some of this area to get this center of trade over here in Malacca right there. So I'll have to get up a spare amount of infamy room to uh, grow some, some more infamy. So I'm going to need three over here. And one, two, three, four, uh, four, five. So I'm going to need room for eight, room for nine. And then there may be, there may be a problem since that's a, so much land. Even if I take over all of Brunei, they may not give up all that land. So, maybe I should do it in steps, because every five years you can go to war again. Maybe I should do step one, taking this land, and maybe maybe two of these. Because these are both spices. That might be a good idea. Just two, three. So take three in for me now, and then next time I'll wait a little bit, and then I'll take, like, uh, four in for me, because that'll link up our lands. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so we can do that very soon here. So I'm going to pause here, and I'll come back when I'm ready to go to war with Brunei. Hey, guys, welcome back. It's only been about a year or so, and we are ready to go to war with Brunei. So let's get this started. I've got 40,000 troops down here and a transport fleet, so we should be able to move around fairly easily. And I'm not going to bring any allies in because... All they would do is steal territory that I want. So everyone joined the war. So we're now at war with Khorasan, Bali, Longzong, and Brunei. I'm not really too concerned about Khorasan because they're landlocked over here. This is Khorasan. But uh, Longzong I'm going to have to deal with. And Bali, well, I guess I could, it'll be easy to deal with Bali. But yeah, let's go ahead and move our troops on over. And let me fund my dudes. Oh, we already are. Why am I funding my dudes so much? Holy crap, I'm an idiot. Can't believe I've been spending all this money. Anyway, get war taxes going again. Yep, send another colonist there. That's cool. It says we're losing money in October. I'll deal with that later. Uh, come down here. I guess we'll go... Yeah, we'll do these first. These are valuable. But we're going to have to deal with uh, Long Zong at some point. They're already coming up to Mulmain, so... I don't know. I guess these guys will go up here and... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Let me get my troops down here before I get too far ahead of myself. Oh, and I could do with bringing a general over. So you can have a general. And I see an army there, so let's get on land. Kick some ass. 
Oh wow, 15,000 guys. What's their land tech? 10, and my land tech, 21. All right, then I will meet them with the full army rather than a half. Well, this one's undefended, that's easy enough. All right, they got off the boat, good. Let's go pick up these guys. Oh, come on, stop taking attrition, will ya? Oh, that's just awesome. Bali's got their own rebels going on. And it looks like we killed them in Patani. Hey, Kespek went core. Good for us. Stupid minimap, work when I click you. Oh no, it's the Brunei Navy. <laughs> What's their navy at? Nine, and my navy's at 21. But all these, these are just cogs, so I might have to actually dock up with that. We'll see what they do. Alright, we got Patani, let's move on. Actually, let's go this way and get rid of their... No. Yeah, whatever. I don't know. Let's see if they come for us or not. Yeah, they're coming. Well, we're not even on the boat yet, so let's just go dock up for now and see what they do. <laughs> oh, the revolutionaries killed the Bali army. Cool. Um, work when I click you. Stupid button. Aha! We discovered more of inner southern America, so next colonist I get is going there, for sure. We gotta block off, uh, Armagnac, those bastards. And we're full of magistrates, so let us use them. Perfect, 99. Do we need anything? We could use a better infamy, dude, so let's recruit infamy. Level 6? Perfect. You got to be replaced. Poor guy. Alright, so they dropped off four dudes. And we'll have to get over there somehow. So when that navy leaves, we'll undock and head over there. Well, I guess, I mean, I'm not doing anything with my other navy, we can bring them around. And they can easily kill uh, Brunei's navy, so why the hell not? But don't take attrition, guys, seriously. Why do I always have to do this manually? There. Kandesh annexed Punjab. Good for you, Kandesh. I always knew you could do it. Really? New religions don't care. Converted the people in Mexico. That's great. Alright, siege that. And siege this. Cool. And kill them. How's that siege going? Oh, I need to turn off my navies. Damn it. Navies, go away. How's that siege going? Oh, I can turn off colonies for now as well. There. Uh, Panering is only at 25%. Damn. It's taking a while. Let's see. They've got 1,000 and... Okay, they have 8,000 there. Alright. Considering getting a new general. Yeah, might as well. And we'll give him here. So that we can deal with these armies. And now we're going broke again. Bohemia declared war on Croatia. They did not have a Casas Belli. Damn it, Bohemia! Is it really hard, that hard, for you guys to get Casas Bellies? I mean, they border you. You could insult them, or royal marry them, and then accuse them, and... I don't know, you could do something. Jeez. Croatia's only got four states. 
who you allied with? Serbia and Armagnac. Well, let's see who joins it. We have to we have to decide by next month. Serbia joined. Uh, Burgundy honor the alliance with Croatia. See, now we're in a we can't join both sides. We have to pick either Bohemia or Burgundy. Bavaria honored the war on Bohemia's side. Oh wow! So the HRE is going to fight Burgundy over this. Wow. Well, either way, we're going to lose one alliance. This is going to be a big war. There we go. <laughs> wow. Wow. Alright, so let's take a look at both sides and see what they are. So, Bohemia, Poland, Alencon, Bavaria, Mecklenburg, and Twer versus Burgundy, Armagnac, Croatia, Serbia, Cleves, Lorraine, Trier, Friesland, and Holland. So, basically, it's Bohemia and Bavaria against Burgundy. Armagnac is actually a power. So, Burgundy, Armagnac, and that's it. So one option is I could declare war. Let's see who's leading. Burgundy's leading the war, so I could declare war on Burgundy, and then I could call Castile and the Hansa to the war. But I would have to severely insult Burgundy, and I don't want to do that. Oh, I can't even come close. I wouldn't have time. Hmm. <laughs> They'll come to my aid. Look at that. They're very likely to come to my aid. And Bohemia very likely come to my aid. Everyone wants to help me, but I guess I well since I just got my alliance with Burgundy, I think I will cancel my alliance with Burgundy because I just got that one. But that's very upsetting. I just don't want to piss off too many of my allies, you know? So I can't dissolve the alliance because we're at war, but I can do this. So this is just a war against uh, Croatia, really. So we can do that separately. And then Burgundy may not join it. Let's try that. And call allies? No. Castile says impossible. The Hansa says they will. So let's do that. And then we'll call the Hansa. And then I think that satisfies this thing. Like we don't have to accept or anything. So let's say accept. Well, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't do anything. So we have a separate war with Croatia. That's great. Serbia honored the alliance with Croatia. Hansa joined on my side. Armagnac honored the alliance. Oh my god, we're fighting Armagnac. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is still a colony. This is still a colony. Let's go. Let's uh, split our troops. You're going to go there, and the other ones are going to go there. <laughs> Take their colonies. <laughs> uh, Castile won't join. Why? I don't know. They might be guaranteeing them or something. And... Uh, Oh, Armagnac's the leader. Of course Armagnac's the leader. They're the biggest country. Uh, Burgundy? Burgundy you'll join. Wait a minute, did the Hansa... Did the Hansa just join against Brunei? They did. Aw, oh, damn it, I didn't want the Hansa to join against Brunei. Well, you know what? Maybe I can get Burgundy to join against Armagnac. Then they'll... yeah. Burgundy joined. Cool. There we go. Alright, how confused is this now? Oh, Burgundy didn't join that war. Burgundy only joined the other war against Brunei. Damn it! Damn it, Burgundy. Bastards. Am I still running out of money? Yes. Alright, well, maybe we can get peace with Armagnac. No. Well, maybe if we stomp over enough of their stuff up here, they'll want peace. Who the fuck is this? 
Oh, the Pope has access to my lands. Eh, whatever. Uh, how's my revolt risk? Eh, it's pretty bad over there. Stupid Incans. So, I'm gonna have to deal with this. They're gonna come up here and fuck me up. I'm sure they have an army over here somewhere. They have to. They have that. Oh, I'm blockading them. Oh, I don't have 1%, damn. Well, my name... I'll have to focus on one war at a time. I'm obviously not going to surrender to Armagnac, but I'm concerned that they'll take some colonies, you know? These are, some of these are colonies. This is a colony. This is a colony, so... Uh, this army is going to have to do double duty and uh, take them out. These guys are going to have to sit... Okay, you can handle 15,000. Go sit here... And you're going to have to be my forward army in Armagnac. Go this way, please. And we'll deal with this stuff. <sighs> Over here, I can't touch it. This stuff, I'm just not going to bother. Is this Armagnac or is this Castile? This is Castile. Okay, good. And is this Armagnac or Castile? That's Armagnac. So does Armagnac border me over here? They do. Okay. So... You guys should move up to on Oneida, and you're going to go up to here. Okay, so we have a... Why would you go through there? Go this way, you dumbass. Shh. So we have a basic plan for dealing with Armagnac. Castile... Oh, they can't join it. That's right, my bad. I was hoping they would. Alright, so we're not going to worry about that one. We're going to focus on these guys, because these guys, I think think we should be able to end it somewhat soon, I think. I mean, we're going to have to kick Long Zong a little bit. We're going to have to... Actually, we may not have to worry about Long Zong. If we take over all of Brunei's lands, you know, get 100% on them, then they'll accept any peace offer we want. Alright, so we'll work on that then. So our navy has to get over here, and then we'll move these dudes over. Alright, one step, one step at a time. I don't see their navy anymore. So let's try getting ours out again. And see if they come back. Because they may not. Uh, they almost have Moon Main and Pegu, so we'll we'll deal with that. Pandorang is just taking forever. It's ridiculous. Alright, you're trying to run the other way, but I think once I get there, then I can reach Donegal before you leave, so that'll be okay. Alright, now let's see if we can escape before their navy gets back. Provence joined the war, who cares? That was it. We won the, I don't know who that was against, but we won it. That's cool. Oh, that's right. <laughs> More colonies. Well, I hope they don't come over here, because I have a lot of colonies over here. Well, I get a feeling the Hansa will deal with Armagnac over here, but I don't think the Hansa is going to do anything about Armagnac over here, so we'll have to focus on that. Maybe I should get access to Brittany? Yeah, because we can walk over here. Let's ask for access. And... I want access to the Papal States, just in case we have to walk this way. And access to Castile. Oh, we already have it. Good. So now this army can walk... Wait, one one day. Brittany said yes. People said yes. Right, so this army can now walk... Oh, look at that. It wants to go this way. No, now we can go that way. Look at that. It's amazing what access does. We're going to go that way, and we'll go here. No, none of these are colonies. But they are worth something. I mean, Armagnac really did get the amazing territories. They have tobacco, tobacco, sugar, sugar, gold, sugar, sugar, gold. You can't get any better than that. And then down here they have coffee, wine, fish, and grain. So they have coffee and wine here. I would love to have coffee and wine. Anyway, they got some really good lands. All right, so we are... Good, we got on the boats. So that means we can try to stop this siege... Actually, let's try to stop Molmain first. It's the one that's almost done. And these guys... Oh! Um, yeah. Same thing. Okay. I know I have a colonist, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. 
Alright, we've we caught up with these guys. Good. Let's hope they die. I am funding my troops, right? Yes, good. Damn it, Bohemia. Why you gotta pull me into this shit? At least Burgundy didn't uh, break our alliance. Alright, you guys are gonna run to there. Which is fine. Look at this, they're leaving on the 10th of July, we arrive on the 11th of July, and these guys take up where I was standing on the 12th of July. How screwed up is that? Oh, damn it, they got Mulmain. Damn it, 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 you bastards. Alright, we'll go to Peggy then. What I want to do is not leave on the 11th, I want to 8, 9... And pause. Now I want to stay right here, and hopefully this guy will still come. He probably won't, but hopefully. And I had a revolt in Inca lands. Oh, it's where I was standing. It should be fine then. And that worked out. Worked out beautifully. Uh, I didn't want you guys to undock. Oh, I had to because of Mulmain. Right, well, just uh, dock up in Pegu for now. Visit from shady people. Free spies or free prestige? Well, I have 100 prestige and I have one spy, so give me the spies. Alright, transports, good, 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 good. And their navy did not come back, that's also good. And we're probably going to win this. Cool, we won that. Alright, those rebels are dead. Those guys are dead. Go back to Mulmain. And then these guys will have to take care of Lanzong this way. And I guess these guys will take care of Lanzong this way. I got no other choice, do I? And these guys, they're both... Oh, they, they avoided me, of course, because they're freaking pro. Swap out leaders because you're actually going to fight. Actually, you don't need it. It's only you're only fighting level or 1,000 dudes. You guys need it. There we go. Now we're talking. Oh, there's their navy. Where are you going? So you said Johor. You're going this way. You may come to try to kill my navy. Well, where's my better navy? There's my better navy. And you guys really haven't arrived anywhere in South America yet. Now you're almost there, though. All right. Just as long as you keep moving. That's all. That's all I ask. Transports are back out. Why? I think I can just dock up my transports for now. Alright, cool. Uh, seize colony, for sure. Look at that, we just got some free coffee. For a tiny bit of infamy. Now we're going to go start taking over these lands. I don't see any of their army yet. But I'm going to try to protect Mato Grosso by taking this one. Ooh, sugar. Yeah, I'll take some sugar. Ooh, and Mato Grosso has tobacco. Nice. Silly arming yak. Oh, Long Zong wants peace. I will take peace with you if it's white peace. It is. Okay, good. So I no longer have to worry about Mulmain, which means... I guess you can keep moving to Mulmain, that's fine. You now need to go... I don't know, take the... Why would you want... You freaking retards, you don't need to take... Uh, attrition. Alright, so we're going to go there and pick up that army. Then... You guys are almost there. I'm so scatterbrained right now. natives here. Apparently they're going to die. Oh well. Thanks for the colony. Thanks for the sugar. 
Mmm, sugar. Alright, let's go ahead and start conquering again. I'm not going to take any of their lands. I just want to end this war with Armagnac. I mean, I got their two colonies. None of these are colonies. These are all full territories, so... Oh, that's right, I have a colonist, and I'm running out of money, so... Eh, whatever. Send it there, just as long as I get it before someone else. Now we're running out of money sooner, so whatever. There, are you happy now? Maybe? Alright, yeah, they're happy now. Okay. 1% right, with them, that's fine. You guys have not arrived. You guys did arrive. Alright, we're going to wait one month for you. You guys almost have that seized. Okay, good. We're good, we're good. So the goals with uh, the war with Brunei are to take a few territories. Not a lot, just a few. And I also want them to cancel the vacillation of Bali. That way we'll be able to do our holy war on Bali next time around. Alright, you guys are going to patrol the Incan area, that's fine. I'm surprised Armagnac has not started building troops over here. Or, or up here. They're not building any troops. Oh, there's one. Alright, so they are doing it. Just slowly for some reason. Hmm. <laughs> so this army's going to deal with these three. I think I can safely pull this guy back. Let's go here. Let's meet up with the other army over here. I don't feel right stomping around with less than 10,000 dudes. 5,000 is not really enough. Montenegro joined the war. That's awesome. So since I don't since I don't want anything more from them, I mean that's a colony. I mean that's territory. Uh, can I piece them out? They would not. Can I surrender? They would not. All right. So I guess we just have to stay at war for a little while at least. Oh, Burgundy's at war with Alan Khan. Poor Alan Khan. The Hansa is down here kicking Armagnac. Cool. I love the Hansa. They're a great ally. If you ever have a game in Europe and the Hansa isn't like destroyed right away, because they start out small. They start out with Bremen, Hamburg, and Lübeck. They start out small. Very profitable because they have a center of trade and they're a merchant republic. And these three provinces are worth quite a bit. They're very profitable, but they're small. So if they don't get killed early on, they usually wind up doing this, which is, you know, forming their own little empire with vassals and a great fleet and a decent army, and their technology is usually very good. Yeah, they're 23, and they're, they're better than my tech, so they're, they're doing well for themselves. Get, get allies with them. Just make them your, like, best buddies. All right, so we're done down here. Uh, so you can just go back and sit in Surabaya, really. And you guys are trying to run to Pahang. So what if I split in half and send half to Pahang? Will that stop you? Our fortress in Munster... Oh, province is sieging us. That's hilarious. Yeah, so that stopped them. So now we're going to go kill them in Pahang. Or Parak. Where's my damn fleet? There it is. What was that thing? Pope Austria called for a crusade against Byzantium. Huh. Okay. Now they're building some troops. Yep, yep. A little too late, Armagnac. I'm sorry. Man, you guys take a long time to get there. Silly bastards. 
Alright, I'm putting the game back up to full speed again, so it should be a little quicker getting stuff done. Holy War, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lan Na collapsed, that's nice. And we're running out of money again in December, that's fine. Revolt to Northumberland, we can kill it. Um, I'm not too worried about Provence, I can probably piece them out. No. Surrender? No, oh, whatever. I've moved my transport fleet out, so I can't... Oh, look, the Hansa's actually go... The Hansa's sending ten transport ships to go to these Armagnac colonies. Gotta love the Hansa, man. They they get around. <laughs> They're great buddies. If you've been watching Alpha Pi Omega's... Uh, was it? Yeah, it's a Prussia campaign. He has the Hansa as a vassal, and they are like the best ally you could ever imagine. Alright, we're on the boat. Let's go to... Yeah, we're going to go here. That way we can double team this 15,000 dudes here in Vijaya. Yeah, the Hans is going to beat me, but oh well. I'll try anyway. Hey, stability's up plus two. So in four years, we'll finally be able to start tra training technologies again. <laughs> finally! <laughs> oh, goodness. Colonial maintenance, 56 ducats every month. Army maintenance, 62 ducats every month. Yeah. We'll work on that. Hey, we have a colonist. I'll wait until December before I use my colonists, though. There's their navy. Wow, well, they actually have a decent navy. They have 21 uh, ships. We'll force them out. Alright, so our boat's almost there, so we're going to start moving. And you have a leader? Yes, you do. Good. So I have a feeling they're going to stand their ground, and then what we'll do is come in off the boat at the same time. So they're going to be boned. Coruscant wants peace. Sorry. How about white peace, Coruscant? Oops. There. Yeah. Bye-bye, Coruscant. There we go. Now they're really boned. Oh, oh my goodness. Armagnac actually brought an army over here. I wasn't paying attention. Jeez. I brought my dudes out too swiftly. Okay, what did I lose? I lost... Gara, is that it? Let me make sure. We laid siege to Malacca. Lost Gar won the battle. Have laid siege. Our colony Gar. Okay, so it's two messages about one place. That's fine. I was just a little confused there. So they really don't have much. They only have three thousand guys. But I guess they rushed them. They must have been uh, mercenary units because I didn't notice them. And they're going to Uruguay. Oh, you bastards! Ugh, that's gonna be hell trying to chase them down. Anyway, so we have to kill these guys now. Let's go ahead and... No, I don't want to merge them. Let's assault. And then we'll head on down to Pandaranga. You guys are fine. Actually, I could go pick them up right now. Alright, everyone. 
everyone's in Malacca. Good, good, good. Uh, wait for the month to end. Oh, damn it. I didn't want to kill the natives. Damn it. Oh, well. Natives are dead. Alright, siege that. You guys arrived. Get on the boat, and we'll take you to Brunei proper. Oh, they're taking their navy out somewhere. But they're not moving. Huh. This is such a hassle. They're going to go to Uruguay, then they're going to go here, and all these other colonies that I have. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I don't want to piece them out now, because I want that colony back. Ah, well. We'll figure this out. Oh, they're still not moving. I thought they'd be moving for sure. Yeah. Oh, and they're killing the natives, too. God damn it. See, 2nd of February. Oh yeah, we'll beat them. They're dead. Alright. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, kill these dudes. Oh, did Croatia want peace? I can peace you out, Croatia. Yeah. Who else wants peace? S -s -s Serbia. Who else? S -s 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 Provence? Yeah. Everybody's abandoning Armagnac because I'm not sure why. Oh, well, they won't. Alright, but everybody else will. So now the only ones in the war are Armagnac and Montenegro. That'll make it easier. I'm going to say it again. I love having the Hansa for allies. They're good buddies. So we're almost there. Good, good, good. And they're headed to Kilkenny. They won't get that. But they are going to take some more colonies. Yeah, they're going to this colony. Damn it, damn it, damn it. You bastards going to my colonies. Well, I guess I did it to them, so turn around is fair play, right? And we are... Okay, we got on the boats. So you guys are just sitting there. Let's go chase them. See if they move. And we didn't kill them for some reason. So we're going to have to try again. So now they're moving. And they're probably going to go dock up in Brunei. Which is great. Now we're going to siege that. We'll wait for the end of the month, I guess. Yeah, they're docking up. Good, good, good. Colonial Ventures. Sure, whatever. Oh, Guayara, we arrived. Good. Uh, siege it back. And now we have to... Well, I guess we go here, and this will stop them. Hold on one sec. It's hard to pay attention to all this at once. It did not stop them. So we're going to meet them here in tennis. They're going to beat us there, but if they don't stop moving, we're going to kill them for sure. And these guys, they're sieging. That's fine. Salvicente, I don't care. Kilkenny, I don't care. Pahang, ah, yes. First of the month, siege it. Weeping Song, yeah, lose some more exhaustion. We're making 550 anyway. Burgundy annexed Alan Khan. That's very sad, but whatever. Montenegro wants peace, but they want me to give them money. How about I give you nothing? No. Alright, well, it was worth a shot. That's all I have is nothing, seriously. 
Seriously, Your Honor, I don't got nothing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, so we're going to force their boats out and kill their boats now. That'll be fun. And let's just march on and keep taking over Brunei. Alright, so we finally killed them. Great. Uh, this army is going to come back here. We'll pick them up after we kill this navy. So we have 23 and 20, and they have 10 and 12. Oh, they stood. Look at that. Oh, their navy's running, and we can't catch them because it's impossible to catch a navy. But we'll at least see where they go, and then what we'll do is bring another army down and make them pop out of wherever they go to hide. Oh, yeah, siege that, please. Siege that, please, as well. Go here, please. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I get it. Oh, so annoying. We're going to go this way, and they are actually making progress in Kilkenny, so we'll go get them out of there first, and then we'll come back and keep sieging. Ah, yes. Let's see if we catch them here. I think we do. Yeah, we caught them. Yeah, and we caught these guys too. So they're kind of dumb to just stand there, but whatever. Those guys are dead, and these guys, 18th of April, can I beat them? Yeah, I'll beat them. Cool, that all worked out. Alright, and we landed here, so siege that. And where's this? Okay, good, so our dudes got on the boat here. And they docked their fleet up in Johor. Perfect. So we're going to kill their navy now for sure this time. Uh, do we have anyone low health? Not really. 50%. No, I saw 34%. Damn. So we do have some low health dudes. That kind of sucks. But I honestly don't mind losing a few ships as long as we kill their navy. So let's get down here and force their navy out. Or we could heal up our navy. That sounds like a better idea, actually. Alright, so we killed them. Seize a the colony. And then go back here. We got that. So let's, uh... Let's go up here. There we go. Is this Spain or Armagnac? Castile. Cool. I'm still surprised Castile hasn't done anything about Barcelona. I mean, they got Alicante and Vicente and Aragon because they had a core here, so they had, you know, Casas Belli. But, I mean, you got to form Spain at some point. You should have a drive to form Spain, you know? A desire to form Spain. Alright, we're moving here. They might even get Kilkenny. It's at 75%. Jeez. It's a little frustrating. And we're going to push them out of Uruguay any t any moment now. And then they're going to be caught in tape. We might even be able to stop them. Alright, so our ship's arrived. Oh, there's the Navy. Hello. And we're going to get off the boat in Riau. Siege that. Well, I hope I don't lose any ships here. No, we didn't lose anything. And they lost all their ships. Good. So Brunei's navy's dead. We are really in control here. What's our percentage at? 72. So we might be able to get what we want now. 
I want Malacca and actually I don't want that yet. I want this. Don't want these. Actually, what's their base tax? Oop, no, cancel. What's their base tax? Eight and seven. So they're actually really good base taxes. But as you can see, I'm only getting 1.8 out of it here. So really, it's all about tariffs. So I want these. So I'll have to conquer these because I want the spices they have here. And I want the spices they have here as well. But these will be the easiest to patrol with like, you know, 10,000 guys. We can just leave them right here in the middle. So I need to conquer all this. I should have done all this first. I'm an idiot. But I did all the stuff I don't want in the peace treaty first. Yeah, I'm kind of dumb. Fish, 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 and spices. And naval supplies, fish, and grain, and then lots of spices. Alright, so let's go ahead and get what we want in this war. I'm so glad my navy didn't die, really. Now we can use our transport fleet to pick up these dudes. And I'll let my main fleet dock up and rest up because they're almost dead. Well, some of them are almost dead. We're not at war with Persia, are we? Oh, interesting. Okay. Killfest can go dock up. In. Does anyone have a dock or anything to, like, speed along the repairs? No, no one does. Whatever, just go dock in Mulmain. Montenegro wants peace again. And no, they still want stuff. Damn it, Armagnac. guys are being douches. But at least I have a missionary, so let's use him. Actually, I think I'll make more money if I use him at home. So let's start using him at home, because look at all these things we can convert. Wow, they're actually going to get Kill Kenny. Oh well. Oh my. Oh, Castile's here. Really? Why is Castile here? Castile's going to Gaiara. For what reason, Castile? Now I'm really concerned. What the hell are they doing? Are they just walk? They may just be walking down here. But seriously, couldn't you bring your boat down there rather than walking the whole fucking way through my lands? Whatever. Okay, more magistrates, please. Or paintings, I mean, sorry. Ugh, I have to look at all that after the war is done. Let's finish this war. So we're, we're slowly getting there, one step at a time, right? I'm just glad I haven't had a, a ton of revolts uh, where I pulled out all my troops. Yeah, Castile, what are you doing? They're going to Cuyo. Where could they possibly be going with this army? Here? Are they going all the way to Florida? They're going to Cuyo. Why are they going to Cuyo? Oh, man, that's so weird. All right, good. We're on the boat. So now we can go to... Oh, you're building a unit. I guess I could go there. Now let me go down here first. Oh, 
I caught Bali's navy. They have one ship. Siege it. Really, Castile? They just built a new center of trade here, so they have one in Andalusia and now in Valencia as well. How does that split things up? Oh, interesting. That's actually kind of smart. Wow, Castile did something smart. I am amazed. And it looks like they're still losing pretty badly over here, but since these don't connect to their capital, they they consider them worthless territories, so they don't care. You're sieging. You guys are almost there. Good. Oops. Get off the damn boat. You are running to Santana. Okay. So we're gonna, yeah, we're definitely gonna go there. Oh my god, we actually made it to kill Kenny before they took it. That is epic. Now you're running to Sal Vicente. I think I might even be able to save Sal Vicente. Maybe. And now Castile is going to Minas Gerias. Damn it, Castile, what are you doing? Fucking weirdos. So you're arriving on the 5th of August. If I go here, I'll arrive on the 15th. Yeah, so I'll go there, and that'll probably stop you. No. Siege it. Oh, that's what they did. They stopped me from crossing. You bastards. And we actually won this battle here. Awesome. Do I have any generals that I can move out? No. And yes. Good. Because I need you here to fight Armagnac. Actually, do I have all the colonies I want? Yeah, I think I took all the colonies back. And we're at 83%, so we can demand whatever we want, really. Oh, not 83, 30. I thought I said 83. That must be Brunei. Uh, I don't want anything. So... I could give Gas Gascony to the Hansa. <laughs> but I won't. Revoke your core on Kilkenny for sure. Free Foy. Sure, why not? Uh, get rid of alliances with... Tol no, Toulouse. They're the only ones that I actually... And Brittany. Oh, I could force religion? Nah, it's too high percentage. Well, if I take, like, two more territories, I could force religion. Force him to be Catholic. That might be worthwhile. Nah, I'll end the war. I don't need this war. So, yeah, and give me some money. There. Perfect. And now we can get rid of this alliance we have with Foy. Oh, we can't. Why? Foy, there we go. Call to arms, lol. Uh, get rid of this alliance, please. Oh, I can't because we're at war. Oh, well, we'll do it later. Let me give them access, though. You know, for, for shits and giggles. There. Alright, so that was a successful war. We gained Goyara and Goyas. Goyara and Goyas, which gained us sugar and coffee, which is great, because look at that. We just take them, and all of a sudden this one's at 9, and this one's at, at 7 gold. And we don't have to do anything. We just get gold out of it. Alright, so you were stationed... You, I know... You were in Essequibo. Oh, but I can't walk there now because we're not at war anymore. Well, just stay in Kilkenny. You guys were... Minas Garius. And you were also Minas Garius. And you were Cusco. And you were here. Okay, so we're getting things in order. 
you guys, you never even made it up. Look how long that is of a walk. Look at that. Wow. Anyway, you guys can go back to, I think they were living in Ontario, and you guys were living in Lenape. All right, we're almost back to normal here. We never lost any territory up in our homeland. And we can focus on Brunei, which is great, because now I can use my colonists again. So, and look at that. By, by doing this war, we have effectively cut off Armiac's ability to colonize. That is just fantastic. So now I don't have to worry about any of this. I don't care about this, because they're just they're, uh, low, tax level 1. I mean, they could have gold or copper or, or something useful, but I would rather get these up here, because these are, you know, tax level 3 and 5. All right, anyway, let us fill in some of our colonies. Where's our colonies? All right, what is close to finished? Eight. Let's fill in that colony. Anything else close to finished? Go there. And here. Perfect. All right, I think we're in very good shape now. I mean, I hadn't even considered uh, taking their colonies. And it turned out to work out very well for us. Hey, Colonial Conquest on Oyo. Great. The only reason I do that is because when the Brunei War is over, I want to keep war taxes going. So now we have a war with Oyo. Navy's almost healed up. Cool. Eleven guys are left. New religions, that's fine. Siak is done, go this way. Yeah, we should have this war over before they can take anything, so we're good. We're good. Excommunicate you excommunicated the HRE leader. Why would you do that? All right. Now you're... I'm going to have to take them on a boat. And I don't need my big navy anymore. So when they are successfully healed up, and I think they are... 30... No, 36%. Oh, it's because I'm not funding them. So I have to fund them for them to heal up. I don't need my army maintenance anymore. Hey, finally. So we can get white peace with Norway. We can demand defeat, force religion. No, we'll just get white peace. Let them have their little land. There, perfect. And relations are at zero. I thought they'd be at negative 200, but they're not. You would think if a country emerged out of you, they must be pissed off at you, right? But relations were not super low for some reason. Cool. 
Oh, right, right, right. I'm not funding my troops, so they failed miserably when they tried to siege. I'm kind of dumb. That's a little better. Holy War on Deccan. Oh, look. Hello, Deccan. And you have cotton. I like cotton. Just putting that out there. I like cotton. And we have a colonist. So let's send our colonist to another one with eight that we haven't done yet. We've already sent it to that. That We sent it there as well. Oh, I don't see any more eights. Looks like we got to go with the sevens. All right. Sevens it is. And we're full of magistrates. And we actually have money. So let's uh, build some stuff. Level 1 forts? Nope. How about some ports? Or docks, I mean. Sorry. And no, 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 no. It's too cheap. And shipyards, definitely. Because we get extra naval force limits with those. So this should be the end of the war right here. We converted some more people. Oh, those were that was Coimbra. That was up in England. So we're pretty much done here, which is good, because I'm getting tired of this war. <laughs> we should be at 100% as soon as we take Ase, and we are almost there. There we go. Siege it. And the war's over. Nope. Super revolt. Two revolts. Alright, 100%. Yep. So, I want these. Because it's only five infamy. And I want that. Hmm. Should I do them all now, or should I just do a couple now? Like, this one's worthless. So I could just do those three, and then... Maybe Parak, because that one's valuable. Because that's only four infamy. I just don't want to get infamy too high, you know, because I could do another war in five years and get more stuff. So. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. I could also do Banjarmasin. And then I'll leave my little transport fleet right here so we can just ferry back and forth. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll take these territories. Because that'll really divide up uh, Brunei's power. And it'll give us something to focus on next time. Next time I want to take Malacca, Johor, Siak, Aru, and Atze. So that's another five infamy there. And I probably also want to take Saba. So yeah, six this time, six next time, I can handle that. So they're willing to give it to us, that's good. They're willing to give up Bali, that's also good. We could make them free somebody, but I'm not sure if that's the the wisest thing to do. Oh, there's not enough room left anyway. Uh, could get rid of... Nah, they don't have any money. Yeah, just get rid of your agreement. So yeah, we're good. That'll be the end of that war. Five infamy. That's awesome. So that gives us spices, 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 
and cotton. And now we should gain the holy war against Bali, which is just fantastic. And I guess that means we should get out of their lands. And send our dudes somewhere. Like, back down to Java Island. There's the Holy War in Bali. Cool. We'll definitely do that soon. Aragon declared war on Castile. Oh, the Hans are allied with Castile. Oh, okay. Breaking truce. Oh, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Oh, it's because I was already in this war. That's what they're calling me down. Uh, what if I join the war against Aragon? Let me wait to the end of the month here. This is kind of confusing here. Come on, end of the month. Alliance causes billing against Brittany to loosen Aragon. So if I do Aragon... There we go. So we're not breaking the truce. So we should be in the clear here. So now we have a separate war. We can call them to it. They will. And we can call Bohemia to it. Maybe. I don't want to force it. Call them to it. They won't. Really? Huh. Call Castile. They won't. Yeah, so we have a separate war with Aragon. Does that mean we won't have to break our alliance? I don't want to lose my alliance with Castile. I really don't want to lose my alliance with Castile. Because they've been good allies, you know? Oh, let me give Bohemia some money. They're crying. So yeah, uh, let me get this out of sight, out of mind for a bit, and uh, see if see if this window goes away somehow without me having to declare war, because I don't want to. I'm not going to break my truce, sorry. And in the meantime, let's keep cleaning up down here. How's my navy doing anyway? 96. So everything's healthy except for 96%. That's great. Stop taking attrition, dumbass. Cut this away, and this away, and this away, and this away, and here. And we'll pick up that army and we'll just, I guess we'll go sit in Brittany for a while. Who's the leader? Toulouse is the leader. So we'll go sit in Toulouse for a while. <laughs> Eighth Irish intervention the hell does that mean? <laughs> uh, so hopefully this window will just go away. We'll see. Alright, you're on the boat. Go here. So I'm actually going to peace out Oyo now. I can't. Oh, yes, we can. All right, good. That'll get Hans out of that, because I don't want Hansa to take over Oyo, and they probably would. I can go to war with them later. No big deal. Uh, let's see. I don't need another boat here, because I have one in Surabaya. I will need a boat for Straits of Bali Lombok, because a Blambagan is in there. And I will need a boat for Kiramati Strait, and I will need a boat for Straits of Johor, so I need one, two, three, four. Is that it? Just four? Yeah, so I need four new boats. So I'll have to split them off from my main navy. Here we go. I want barks, please. I only have three. Alright, then one will have to be a caravel. And you're going to come here, and then I'll split them off from there. Okay. Ming Annex Bhutan, that's nice. Uh, oh, I already have stupid pirates here. It's only been gone a couple months, we already have pirates. Jesus. Uh, you guys might as well just get on the damn boat. 
Actually, it might be faster if I go this way first. Uh, one army goes here, one army goes here. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's right, I had some revolters somewhere. Get rid of colonists, or colonies, there we go. Alright, where's our revolts? Highlands, oh, I forgot about that one, alright. Mohawk Mega, alright, we're good. Get on the boat, we'll go back to Prana Core. Guys, gonna pick up these dudes in Asa. Better not lose that dude. All right, we didn't lose anything. Good. going to go here. You are going to go here. And you are going to go here. Alright, we're good. We're all set. We just have to kill these rebels. And there's a new uh, uh, place that needs a level 1 for it. Pegu. So, yeah, I think that's quite enough for this video. <laughs> We're way over on time, but that's fine. Uh, we actually did quite a bit. I know I had some of it in slow motion. Oh my god, look at the rebels in Russia. Ostrakhani nationalists. Ostrakhani nationalists. Ostrakhani nationalists. Oh my god, if, if these are successful... Oh, and they're going to get gold in Samara. Ostrakhan is going to be gigantic. Wow. I hope they're successful. That'd be great. Anyway, yeah, we exploited our new allies, the Hansa. And look at that. The Hansa joined our war against Brittany. So we don't even have to fight any of our wars anymore. We'll let the Hansa do it. I don't care if they get powerful. They're our ally. And we're gonna... Oh, look, we have relations of 198 with Norway. How the hell did that happen? Anyway, we're going to try to be peaceful with Norway. Maybe we can get them to take over some of Sweden. But yeah, we, we did a lot of colonization. We got a little further up this coast. We com connected all of our lands here through a war with Armagnac, which I didn't want to be in, but hey, it worked out just fine. We're losing infamy not too quickly. Not too quickly because of uh, a crappy leader, and I guess I'm just used to having... I'm used to having that national idea for uh, cabinet. Oh man, that is so brilliant. I can't wait for, to get that again. But anyway, yeah, we've been doing some good colonizing. We've been doing some tactful uh, conquering. And that's really allowed us to uh, make quite a bit of money. Look at that, we're up over a thousand right now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time in the Adventures of Ireland. Thanks for watching.